Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. Today what I'd like to take a look at is a series of workflows from uh, one application to another. What we're going to be taking a look at is uh, taking vector data from Adobe Illustrator and creating a 3D model out of that. Um, so there's a, a few different ways that you can go about this, but uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a DWG using our iDesign logo here. So to start with, I've got a few logos in here and I'm going to get rid of the ones that we're not going to need. So these taglines and there's a logo in here that you can't see. So <clears throat> I'm just going to work with this one here. Uh, this is all I really need for the model. So now that I've got my logo isolated here, I'm going to come up to File menu and go to Export and you'll notice that in the export settings it's going to come up to AutoCAD drawing DWG you've got some other options here but uh, we're going to stick with this DWG and I'm just going to change the save in file location to the desktop so right now you can see that I've already got one of these uh, started but I just want to show you some of the, the techniques here so we're just going to we'll call this iDesign logo 3D. Okay, so now with a new file name, we'll say save. And it's going to bring up a dialog box with some options for us. So it's saying AutoCAD version. Which AutoCAD version do you want? If you go with this last one, that's going to keep it most up to date. Uh, we'll keep the scale the same. Line weights don't matter because we only have one line weight and the true color, all that stuff, we don't really need to worry about that for the time being. Now if you come down here to options, you've got um, maximum editability, let's keep that checked, and we don't want to alter paths for appearance, we want to outline the text. And export selected are only would mean if we just wanted to uh, select a certain portion of this AI file. We didn't actually have to get rid of those other paths, uh, we just did that for ease. So anyway, I've got my options chosen here. I'll click on OK. And if I switch over to my desktop, we should see a DWG. So I'm just going to put that over here with these other guys. And I'm going to come over here to AutoCAD. And let's just open that up quick and see how that looks. So right now my DWG, it's uh, just going to be 2D line work. And saying that it was saved by an application that was not developed or licensed by Autodesk. That's okay, let's just keep opening up the file. So we can zoom in here and, and take a look and see what we got. Now when we select this, we're getting complete regions for each one of these. So let's just take a look at what happens if we explode those. So I'm just going to type in explode. And it said explode, one found cannot explode the hatch. So that's fine, these are hatches. If we select the hatch and we delete that, you'll see that there is an outline left behind. So let's just come in here and take out these hatches. And now I've got my outlines. You'll notice in here as well, it's getting a little bit rough and it doesn't actually look like our logo. If you type in RE, that stands for regenerate and it'll actually give you the text or the line work the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's great. Let's just resave that and <clears throat> we'll close that out for the time being. Now what I want to do is I want to bring this into Inventor. So I like to do my 3D models in Inventor because it's very precise and there's a lot of options that you can get to creating your 3D model very quickly, immediately almost. So that said, we're going to take our DWG that we had before and we're going to use that to create the 3D model. But to do that, we're going to have to do a couple things first. So to start that off, let's create a 2D sketch. We'll come up here in our 3D model tab. We're just going to choose that 2D sketch option. And we'll select this XZ plane. And now that I'm in a 2D sketch environment, I'll just modify my view with the view cube here and I'm going to come up into the ACAD option under the insert panel so when I click on ACAD it's going to bring up <clears throat> a dialog box to let me choose a DWG 
So I'm going to grab this one that we just resaved in AutoCAD and I'm going to say open. So it's asking what do you want the units to be? I could specify the units. I'll just leave them as is in inches for the time being and I'll say finish and it's going to load up this DWG uh, as, as some sketch material here. So you'll notice that I've got some closed loops and some splines here. What we're going to take a look at next is how to convert these into uh, line work geometry that Inventor can actually use. So I'm just going to switch this around again. 